What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, same day. Same day. I'm getting it in today guys. I got about 30 minutes before I gotta get ready for work. So let's do this. Like I said, we getting caught up. So, if you like this kind of content, smash that like. Smash that subscription. Smash that bell so you do not miss anything. So, I wanted to talk about <clears throat> the uh, the heating issues, if you want to call it issues, of the new CPUs. Uh, I know, I know, uh, uh, I know, uh, I think it was AMD, the uh, AMD uh, new process, processors heads up to uh, 95C. The 7950X heads up to 95C. Um, that's pretty toasty, guys. And Intel's not any Intel's not any better either because they get a little toasty or like 95C and up. Like I think uh, I think it was uh, who was it? Was it Steve for Gamers Nexus or Jay from Jay's Two Cents? I don't remember, but one of them two I think had the Intel up to over a hundred C. Don't. I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong on that, but I know one of them too was over 100 C, and that's pretty toasty, guys. I mean, I mean, like, I don't. And the manufacturer, AMD and Intel, both said, "Oh, it's safe. It's safe. It's safe to run your system extremely hot." I don't know how that's safe. But, I guess we can only have to take the road for it. I mean, what else are we going to do? And, uh, so, I think, I think this is a step to where the air fan, air cooling, ooh, air cooling fans, Air cooling fans. Air coolers. <laughs> the fuck is an air cooling fan? Fucking fan blows air, dude. Come on. <laughs> air coolers. <laughs> it might be going obsolete. Hear me out. Because while the cooling cools down. A lot, a lot more than what air cooling can cool down. A lot faster too. And I can see this. I can see that sooner or later. It might not be a year from now. It might not be two years from now. It might not be three, four, five, six, whatever. But sooner or later. Everything is going to be moving to, to, uh, water cooling loop. Looped water cooling. Because I feel that it's the best efficient way to cool down these hot ass CPUs. Now, they they could now they could change this by upgrade uh putting patches out and having us updating the the chipset now if they do that then it's a good possibility that they can fix they can fix the heating issues uh 
that's probably the way that it's going to happen. Like, this is still relatively... The, the AM5 socket is still relatively new. Uh, so, I can see AMD fixing the heating issues with the chipset. Maybe. Um, I don't... I don't... Like, I do see... Uh, looped water cooling in the near future being the standard standard uh, cooling solution but I don't know I mean it's a possibility but the more I think about it that's that's a little far out there that's a little far out there. Um, now that I think about it, I think they will do some patches on it. Hopefully, uh, fix the heating issues. Uh, if not, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know. I mean, I know it's hot. <laughs> it's hot, especially on uh, on under load. Like, man, it, it runs toasty, guys. And that's, that concerns me, too, because if you don't have a good cooling solution, you, you risk overheating your system and killing something that's in your system. And... Yeah, you, yeah. There's just a lot of money to be just killing off your system. Um, I think uh, I think uh. I think water cooling may be the way to go. I, you know, even though it, even if it's uh, an AIO water cooling block, you know, with the radiator on, built on with the hoses and you know all that good stuff. If you get a really good one, then that could help it a lot. But E even with the best thing out there, it still runs hot. So, I don't know, guys. We had to see about it. We had to see how this plays out. Like I said, it's still relatively new. The CPUs is relatively new. AMD's uh, socket, AM5 socket is still relatively new. I mean, they just came out, so... There's always going to be flaws in it. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I think, I think that's all I got for you guys. Um, if you guys do this, if you guys do decide to go with the new generation CPUs, Rather AMD or Intel, make sure you guys have a really good cooling system. Some nice fans with good airflow. I'll be honest, I'll probably go with the best airflow I can get. I wouldn't even worry about the noise, but if you can find a nice, quiet fan with good airflow, that's, that'd be great. Uh, I'll probably put as much fans as you can in it to help cool down the system. Even though it might not cool down the CPU as much, but at least you keep pulling, all, pushing all that hot air out of that system and putting new air into the system. Uh, <clears throat> 
as much as you can in a ways. Um, I might go with the push pull on the radiator. Uh, and I will get. <clears throat> I wouldn't worry too much about RGB on the on the on the AIO cooling system. I will get the best AIO cooling CPU cooler I could get for that. CPU to help cool it down at this point I would rather spend my money on the best cooling I can get for the CPU than the best RGB I can get for the CPU cooling 